hi guys welcome back to the channel today we're giving you an update on the one belmont building and that's it straight ahead so we are on worthington avenue but worthington turns into belmont and that's a commercial building the first few floors are going to be for parking and then they'll have commercial office space above it and i must say this building is moving rather quickly we did a video probably two weeks ago and you can visible visibly see changes in the building okay so the road turns over into belmont now This, the contractors for this building is a Chinese firm. I'm not sure if it's China Harbor Engineering Company, but I know China Harbor Engineering Company does the roads. I don't know if they're doing the buildings as well, but it's definitely Chinese contractors. Or I should say it's a Chinese company because you have Jamaican, Jamaican persons working there as well, but it's a Chinese contractor. This building is coming along nicely. Not sure what the finish date is, but you know those dates in Jamaica. Wow. You saw a car overtaking and then another car overtaking a car that's overtaking. And today is a Sunday. The roads are not busy. That just was not necessary. But luckily nothing happened. Okay, this is a very nice view of the building. Now this building, I think, there are so many buildings, guys, that sometimes I get mixed up with the heights. This one is eight floors, I think, eight or nine. However, persons have been commenting that the, the height of this building is higher than a regular nine-story building because the floors are taller than the average for a building. Now, I'm not sure why they would do that because you definitely want to get as much um, space as possible but this is a massive building so those persons are probably right when i mean massive this is a massive building don't let the, the height or the number of floors fool you this is one of the larger buildings in the area And this is the height of the building because you can see they're putting on the roof at the top so it's not going any higher Somebody left a comment that said um, the cement company must be making a massive profit in Jamaica because of all the construction going on. So that is so true. But another company that's supposed to be making a lot of money is the company that operates these cranes. I have never seen so many cranes before in Jamaica. I mean, this. I must say it's the first I've ever seen this level of construction but you had um, before the buildings were not going so high so you didn't need these cranes but now it's like every building is, is so high that they, they need these cranes because a lot of high-rise buildings going up and if you look at the name of the cranes, uh, they have different names. So I'm assuming it's different companies. Okay, I think I have a picture of the finished building down here. So we're going to take a look at it. But I'm really impressed 
with all the construction, all the progress that's going on in Jamaica. And these buildings are not cheap to build. They cost probably billions of dollars. And so many are going up. So that's a very good sign that people have confidence in the economy. Okay. I'm going to take a look at the picture of the finished building. And remember, we have videos up going into more detail as to the number of floors, the size, those kind of things. Today we're just doing a general overview to give you an update on how far the building has reached. Remember all the major construction projects we will make videos every two weeks. This one is Right, worse than I'm not sure what the finish date is for this building, but I've noticed that few things finish on time in Jamaica, so the finish date is not that important. I can give you an example. It said that a section of the Southern Coastal Highway is going to finish April this year, which is now the beginning of April, and I have to see that to, to <laughs> we're gonna keep you guys updated on that one. I shouldn't I shouldn't laugh. But we're going to definitely monitor that one every week because I just don't see it happening in that time period. Alright, so on the right now is the Cambridge. So oh, I'm so sorry guys, the ascent. And they are it's going to be the largest building in Jamaica. This is the NCB Towers. It's actually two of them. Just to give you an idea of where we are. We're now on Oxford Road. And the ascent is going to be 27 floors. And it will be the tallest building in Jamaica when finished. Currently, the Pegasus Hotel at 17 floors is the tallest building. But the Rogers, which is going to be 20 floors, is under construction and will take the title sometime later this year. And then the Ascent will take the title probably in a year or two. Oh, so there you can see just how massive this building is, the one Belmont building. Alright guys, thanks for taking a tour with us. Remember to like, share and subscribe. Have a good day.